Howdy ho, good neighbor. What are you doing down there? Let me pick you up. You don't need to be on the ground. Oh my goodness. Well, good morning. We're at this undisclosed location and I was here a few weeks back and I tried to shut off this control valve. You can see where I'm at, this big building here. Well, they have an exposed fire sprinkler riser and uh, this valve doesn't shut. So if I was to mess with it, that thing doesn't turn. So when I did some work the other day, I had to shut it off right here at the street. You can see that's the street valve that supplies all this underground. So here's my brand new valve. Look at this baby. It's a little different, but the same. There you go. Stainless steel, groove by groove. So I'm gonna pick you up here, this valve. And this valve is, let me get my hand out of the way. You're gonna have to sit like that. That's how that valve's gonna sit. A little different. The indicator on that one's right there. This one's gonna be on the side. Okay. This, I wish I could use a snap tool and activate it like Scrap and Pallet Man, but maybe I'll put you in time-lapse mode. I don't know. We'll see. Or not. Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. There you go. One two inch groove by groove ball valve replacement. Yeah, sign language. Live it, learn it, love it. Let me uh, jump this bush uh, and pick you up. Yeah, that's it. That's what we did here today. Let me unclip you so I can see what I'm showing you. But that is a new two inch ball valve with a tamper switch it's not hooked up so we'll have the alarm company come and as soon as this valve gets opened or closed the alarm company will know about it so these wires will be hooked up to that and there is the old valve that won't shut i'm gonna put you down here and i'm gonna grab that valve and i'll show you so let me clip you back in. Just be patient here. I know, I know. You guys are so impatient, but I have to clip you in. All right, so let's see if I can do this. I got you on my chest here. I don't know what you can see. There you go. But you can see right there. I cannot turn that valve. You can see right through it, but that thing is stuck in the open position. So now the alarm guys will unhook this cable and all these wires and hook it up to that. But that valve is in the open position. And if you want a valve that's broken, well, I guess it's good to have it broken in the open position. There's the gauge I'm reading it about, you read it, about 97 pounds. So now, the hard part. What is the hard part? Getting paid. I got to go ask the customer for some money. And uh, it's funny that people don't want to pay after you do the work. I don't know about you guys, but there's been more than once where we've done a whole bunch of work and you have a hard time getting these people to pay. So maybe they should pay before the work. That's not gonna happen. Well, there you go. One new stainless steel, that probably cost a pretty good penny. Ball valve, two inch, groove by groove. And there's the old brass one. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you 
for coming along with me on these ball valve adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. I said bye.